Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games, dog games, and we are playing Rain World Rain today, World. which was generally, gener generously, good with my words today, sent to us by Video Cult, the developer of the game. This is also published by Adult Swim, which makes, or publishes some pretty sweet games. Yeah, I mean, they did a Headlander. Headlander. <laughs> so I try that one out. <laughs> yeah, Nina and I wanted to play that on the show, too, and yeah, we just never we, got we to call it. Yeah, we can always add that in here. Let's see how Rain World is, though. I'm really excited to try this. We Rain watched, uh... The video, the video the for it was crazy. Yeah, I, I've been eyeing this one for a little while, so I'm I'm kind of excited about it. It's um, so cool you guys gave us that copy. I know here I said thanks, but here's another one oh, for thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so it's apparently very difficult, which is why I'm playing this. Yeah, because I suck at games. I love my video games, well, especially but I platformers. Suck at them. I know, and we keep playing platformers together. It's because there's so many good platformers. There are. There are a lot of good ones. And like this isn't strictly a platformer, but there are oh, platform me. Look how elements. cute these rabbit squirrels. Girl, slug, slug cat slug, monsters. Slug cat. I think I don't know what they're actually called. Now they're but slug I feel cats. Like the fan though. base calls them slug cats. Well, the fan base can kiss my booty. I mean, you know, that's fair. So it's like a post-apocalyptic world. Well, post-apocalyptic. Post Who knows what this world was originally like? Yeah, right. This could have just been the world <laughs> when it happened. Like, this, this is a dark friggin' place. And they're they're oh, that's kind of cool eating. looking. They're stealing a little like giant moth bats. In eating them. Oh, look at that. How sweet. They got a little they're, they're, they're dead, family. soulless eyes. No big deal. <laughs> so, this must be us, the one that it just highlighted. Like, yeah, oh, I, I would assume. You. Look at you, Nancy Drew. Climbing on things. You answered it the other day. I said, Look at you, Nancy Drew. And I'm like, Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I see. So, oh. we're the little baby. We were on the mama's back or the papa's back. And while they were like harvesting food, Lightning struck and we slipped and we're like no. no. And then Mama Cat Slug was like no. And she's like, well, that's my one child. We're done. No, no, they had two children, so they're probably like, well, at least we got one. Yeah, more. right. <laughs> so maybe that's the narrative of the game is that we are Baby Slug Cat. We're trying to get back to <laughs> Mama and Papa. Baby Slug Cat. Baby Slug Cat. Getting back. Baby Rainbow. Slug Cat. I do really like the um those opening uh credits arts though. Those are really nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Like it's, I, it's, I love that that shading, man. The, yeah, the painting style works pretty well for depicting li like you'd you'd see a pixel game like this, mm -hmm. and then you'd see like the high resolution painting, and you'd think that the two styles wouldn't really work well. No, together. but it, it, it but it's kind of like we play other games and then do their cutscenes, right? It's like you know, that's true. I think they highlight each other quite well. Yeah, I totally agree. You are hungry. Find food. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks, tutorial. Yeah. I think you supposed to get those little beaties. No? No, Ooh. I can't reach them. I, I can't climb on the ceiling Ooh, yet. man, get that little plankton, dude. Yeah. F is for friends yeah. who do stuff together. U is for <laughs> let's not get sued. So it's kind of like, it's got this interesting physics to it where, like, it we move like normal, and then he just kind of auto-climbs and, like, crawls under things. Oh, really? He contort and squeeze into little areas. Man, I wish so I could contort and squeeze. <laughs> So this, I guess this little slug guy is kind of like giving us instructions. He's our, he's our See, tutorial can guy. can he be a slug guy while we're a slug guy? I don't know. That's too many slug guys. Maybe it's just a, a slug. Catch s and eat them. Slug eat slug world. Yeah. yeah. I'm Murder. Uh, how do I eat X? <laughs> it looks like you're um, like, um, oh, um, oh um, my um. God. <laughs> just ravage those things. Yeah. I love that you hold them in your little hands. It almost looks like it's like a ninja star or something. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I see. They keep appearing back over here. Yeah! Got them. I don't know why you keep coming. Do you have to eat them over there? Can you not eat them anywhere else? I don't know. It just four feels is right enough to, to hibernate. So additional food above four is kept for later. Okay, so now we have more than four. We'll eat the rest later, even though we kind of already ate it. But it's in our food pouch. Oh, she's my food pouch. Oh, 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 oh baby. Yeah. I love this, like, you kind of have to find yeah. what areas you can squeeze into. I think it really, um, it really... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Glad there's no fall damage yeah, right? yet. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. <laughs> you get so used to fall damage, you're going to play a game where it's not a thing, you're like, oh. I know. I'm going to fall everywhere. Om nom nom. I... You can also eat fruit. I assume this is fruit. Hum, hum, hum. I'm, I'm guessing it's fruit. Hum, 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 hum. I love the eating animation. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I may be full, but I'm going to take another one for the road. <laughs> You're just going to take it with you? Why not? 
You never know, man. Fair. I guess that's fair. We're we're survival. We're, we're surviving, man. <laughs> we're survival. We're survival. We are the thing. Okay, we're down here. So he's kind of leading us, but I feel like okay, leap the gap. So okay, if you I, can do this. You I can crouch, do this, and then you hit A, and I hold A, and then you're gonna jump. jump. I, I f- like this little guy. I feel like we should be able to eat him. But, <laughs> I but feel like we time, should kill him. But at the same time, he does a pretty good job at teaching us how to play the game without actually oh, using yeah. any words. Yeah, she's like, you know what to do. Oh, but wait. You want me to go in there, but there's uh, a passage but over I'm going to take this way instead. I hope at least it's like a game over. It's like you should have oh, listened to Oh, that's the rain. Oh. oh. I think maybe I should not go in the rain. That seems kind of dangerous. That seems like super dangerous. I kind of like that. I kind of like how they how they give you that feeling of. Well, it's like the shaking screen yeah. is really unsettling, and then it's like the rain paired with My it. My eyes don't like it. Ooh, this place is safe. Stay here to hibernate. Ah. Nighty night. And good night. Go to sleep, little cat slug thing. So I think that's the idea, though, you is that cute. the rain is dangerous. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, I see. Okay, so it consumes four. Now I have three. Now we're in the next chapter. Day? Region? Yeah, day. I, I don't know what those icons mean. I wonder if it's a chapter by chapter game and it's like, oh, yes, and I kept my little food. <sighs> I'm not Watch this. Hum, hum, hum. Check this out. It's really satisfying. Go explore. There's food and shelter to be found, but beware of predators. Oh, great. Now comes the real fun of the game. Okay, so we have a little map here. Whoa. That's a pretty big map. That's not a little map, Chris. That's it's a... also got like this 3D thing. Yeah, going like, look on at it. that. Ooh. That's pretty wild. Okay, so we didn't totally explore this area. No, we did not. So if we failure. can figure out how to climb that. No, you're a failure. That's it. I mean, pretty much. Yeah. Um. So, okay, we're going to go up here. I mean, this is the only way we can go because right, that's what we the can. game has decided that we can do. <laughs> because the game has told me so. Ah, you see, it's no longer raining. Objects can be picked up, carried, and tossed. What am I picking up? Rocks. All right. Uh, what am I tossing at you? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And then you can nom it. Eat it. Ow, ow, ow. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, it's like rocks and little cinder blocks. Yeah, right. <laughs> Gotta throw it. Gotta kill it. Gotta kill it. Gotta kill it. Gotta kill it. Yeah, murder. This is awesome. The game feel is pretty spectacular. Is that <laughs> kind of like when you're eating food? It's like the mouth feel? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, like, the game, the character movement feels really fluid. That's good. Um, I mean, he's kind of a fluid character. Which so is nice, though, because you, you can see some games, like, not really embracing the fluidity, you know? Well, it's like... There, there's a point in which a lot of games take it too far, right? Where right. it's like hard to control because your character is just splashy. Yeah. <laughs> but this actually feels really good, and I, I especially like the um, the like projectile. So if I throw yeah. something, it it it's got a lot of force to it. Yeah, it really does, and like more force than I thought you'd have. But it makes hunting really easy. I say as I as you fail. miss, but I guess it's because I can't throw up for some reason. Dude, that is so awesome. Eat. Homp, homp. You're not Eat eating it. Homp, homp, homp. <laughs> oh, I can go down. Ooh. Ooh. Look at you. It's got a nice explorative feel to it. Which I think is important um, to a game about survival. Oh, that's just the light changing. Mm. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, right now it feels as though we're kind of in a... <laughs> relatively linear progression. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, even post-tutorial, now we've already hit two branching paths. <laughs> yeah, right? And it's, uh, and even though it may be linear, there's still a lot of, like, nooks and crannies you can still kind of go through. Yeah, I'm curious what it's going to be like mid-game once we're kind of outside of the easier parts and yeah, kind of true. what our goals become. <laughs> I thought the camera was like, blah, 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 blah. I go up also? No. No, 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 no. We can go down. Yeah, now that I'm at the point where I'm ooh, oh, stocked up on food. What is that? I don't know, but I want this instead. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. 
Pick that up. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 you shouldn't oh, have missed. Oh, oh, God. Bad time to miss, That's man. A oh, God. I jump over it. <laughs> so, did it hurt you at all yet or no? It doesn't seem like it, but I feel like the game's also just going easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, nope, can't climb. Go, 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 go. Okay, now go there. Yeah, pick that up. Are those spikes? Are they going to hurt me? Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that'll, like, hurt you if, uh, you fall really quick. Yeah, that does make it look like it's gonna- Oh, you're just gonna not try and kill the predator? That's fine. I don't know Lay if you can kill him. lay -mo. I mean, yeah, maybe. Give it a shot, man. See what happens. I, I just want to go over there on the the right side. Do it, man. You got time now. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> do a little run oh, jump. Why don't oh, you, why don't you oh, do duh, right. Ow! Oh, you oh. can kind of flash. Oh, God. I want to see a health bar. Oh, oh no, not this. My assumption is that it's like a one-hit kill kind of deal. Like if you get <laughs> if, if you, you get nommed, you get nommed. Okay, now you. Okay, gotta. so now crouch. Oh god! Oh god! He is right behind you. Oh, I was. And there are two of them now. Oh, how did he get up there? There no, are there's two. There's just one. No, there are definitely two. Oh god, two. there are two. Oh there, there are no. Definitely two. It's okay. They can't climb like me. I'm nimble. They can't climb quick, like cat bug quick, thing. Nimble. They can't do anything like cat bug thing. Okay, crouch. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, man, you got this. You got this. Don't mess what? up here, though. I should have, should have crouched, jumped. Should have, should have crouched, jumped. This, yeah, I should. I thought that's what you're gonna do. On the mm. plus side, maybe that uh, radioactive alligator was in that area to the left, and he was gonna force me to go over here anyway. Something mm, tells me fair. I might not be able to make this. Yeah, we're about to find out. Sure. He didn't do the jump. Well, you didn't see the little bar thing. I mean, also the bar no, thing wasn't. In... The little bar is the um the little green slug dude that's been giving us the tutorial. UI. Oh, so you're just that was just him. Um, so now that he's not really doing that anymore, doesn't seem like. Just turn around, slug cat. Thank you. <laughs> be cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, nope, I don't think do I can it. make no, it. No, you can't it. make it. Um, but you can die by those things, so what are you gonna do? I definitely can. So we're just gonna go. Oh, no, 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 he's gonna come up that way, he's gonna come up that it's way. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, maybe it won't. Yo! Oh, I can't go up there. <laughs> oh! Ooh, that's kind of cool. That was a cool one. <laughs> no one bites like... Cat, bug, slug okay, thing. Okay, so... Oh. Whoa, what's up with all the blues? I don't know. Maybe it's like food. Mm, could be. It could absolutely be. Because there were lots of bats over there. We don't need that anymore. What's this? It's a gun. <laughs> this game took a real weird turn. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of post-apocalyptic, right? Yeah. So, um, so I guess they have guns. That's fair. I mean, the background is kind of like, looks like it could have been a city once. So... What do you think about indie games? Like, I feel like there's been a lot of indie games where they do a post-apocalyptic scene. I mean, it's kind of been a trend for a little while yeah. in general. So, like, so what not you, even just indie. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. So what do you think about the post-apocalyptic uh, setting? I think that when it's done well, it can be utilized super successfully. So what games come to mind, though, when you think of, this game did post-apocalyptic well? I mean, like, Fallout's kind of an obvious answer, right? <laughs> well, sure, absolutely. Um, I, I really liked... Um, what was it? The ad aquatic adventure of the last human. Okay. Okay. Um, they, they did it to create their world and it created a lot of like interesting narrative without yeah. having a lot of actual like hardcore narrative to the game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was, there was a lot of like contextual story through the environment and they had like log, like journal logs and stuff from yes, scientists. Absolutely. That was Woo. Oh God. Is that a monster? I died. Yeah, that was a monster. Huh. Okay. Good to know. Oh, Thanks. it starts oh. you back. So it's like a save point, basically. Hibernating is a save Ooh. point. <laughs> All right. I, I like this learn. wall. You will eat your berry now while you're... Oh, yeah. Ow, ow. Um... I thought Poncho did a good job with... You're talking away oh. from your mic. I thought Poncho did a good job of, um... Poncho? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that was po interesting, too. Now, what games haven't done such a good job? Um, I don't know. 
I, I feel like I just didn't play a lot of those games yeah. because I'm like, it was it was trying to like play off of like, oh, post-apocalypse is selling right now. So, so we're going to make this shitty yeah. game and make it post-apocalyptic because that'll work. Because <laughs> that's what life is. And like, I don't know, maybe I just never picked up those games because yeah. I saw through their, Absolutely. their nonsense. So but. But why do you think there's a trend of it? Um, I think that it, it's kind of like what we were talking about with uh, Wolf Among Us. Yeah. Where, and maybe that episode hasn't released yet by the time we release this. I'm not really sure. Oh, it should be, I would think. I don't know. Eh, That's up to you. I don't know. Up to you, Nancy Drew. Um, but it's it's like the anti-hero trend also, right? Like, yeah. I think, ooh, people just like the uncanny, or like the hero kind of rising above the situation and like, mm. I don't know, it's like the dark and gritty thing, right? Like, people really like post-apocalypse because it's like you are your own person and you don't have to adhere to society's rules, rules. anymore. Yeah, that's fair. And so it's like how do you behave in a, a world without any any real governance? That's fair. Um, and that's kind of like, I think, why people like the anti-hero too. The anti-hero doesn't listen to anyone. Doesn't play by just does what anyone's it, rules. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, yeah. Like, it's a similar idea, just in a different type of form mm, absolutely um and i could be totally wrong right yeah i mean don't try but, but, that's, but that's just a trend you see i feel like just in indie games lately i feel like there's so many that have just tackled post-apocalyptic worlds um like when we did uh what was that bird game um oh the bird oh. game i don't know if it was post-apocalyptic it was, necessarily it was revolution but it was revolution yeah um, I mean, even like Nuclear Throne is technically post apocalyptic, post -apocalyptic yeah. but it's like it doesn't even necessarily feel like. Well, because you're never really in like a city. You're never in like a point where you're like, oh, this used to be something else. Yeah, it's like, oh, radiation is everywhere, but that doesn't necessarily mean post apocalypse. But it's, right. it's implied. I don't know if you can kill those guys, or, or if they're just really hard to kill, right? Like, although I'm surprised he's not. Oh. There he is. <laughs> I oh. bet he's not seeing me. Oh, wait, he is. Whoop. Oh, man. Bad time to miss. Oh, he charges at you. Ah, oh, I missed him. Uh, but, oh. Come on. Yeah, I think I can only stun him, and that's about so I would stun it. Stun him and run. Stun him and stun and run. Stun and run. Oh, no. Oh, little cat man. <laughs> oh. Little cat man. Oh, little cat man. No. So I, I like the level design here, though, because mm -hmm. they're kind of teaching us what, how we can use the environment? Yeah, right. What? There's another one. That one's got a pink face, though, and I don't know oh. what that means. Oh, he can climb up. Oh, he can climb up. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, you are dead. You got killed. All right, remember when I said that this game is supposed mm. to be hard? Yeah, no, it's, it's really easy. I, I just... Well, it's like... You're just failing, clearly. It's actually... This, this area is, doesn't even seem that difficult. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> The game wants me to really understand how this game well, works I, I before I get to the to the really hard stuff. And right and now, since, it's not punishing you too hard because the save point wasn't that far back. No, I but mean, at the still, same time, it's still a pretty decent lost time. But I wonder if um, I wonder if we keep the map. Okay, so we lose all the progress mm -hmm. we make on the map too. So yeah, I guess it's a little unforgiving. I want to see what's over here. Did I go over here? I don't think you did. Let's go to some new areas. That way, everyone watching doesn't. Yeah, they're like, get hey, like, remember, remember that oh time that, up? Oh, guess you can't. <laughs> Unless you can somehow. Nope, looks like you gotta go that way. Yeah. Bang. Bang, bang, Are bang. these guys dying when they go in the spikes? Oh, no, they're just hanging out in the spikes. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Come to me, my fool. <laughs> How? I like that you can hold two things. Yes, also. I love that you're just double fisting bats. Oh there. hell yeah! I mean, you have two hands; it only makes sense, yeah, right? right? I, I'm I'm quite a fan of just the design of this world too, because it doesn't tell you a whole lot of what's going on. But you're just like, this is a a pretty dark place. Oh yeah, I mean, it's so it feels so like this is just how the world has been for a very yeah, long right? time. Like that's just what it is. Like old machines. Covered in moss and slowly decaying. Feels like a decaying world returning to nature. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And th that's another big thing about games lately. It's, oh. Cycle 1 on outskirts. outskirts. I didn't notice that before. Uh, I think that's because that we're in a new, new place. We're in a new place, Chris. We are? I thought I backtracked. No, I don't think you backtracked. Check your map. 
Well, we lost the progress in the old. Oh, one. well, they're still gonna. They're still following you. They are. Oh, I can like hide though underneath uh, these. I was wondering. But they what can those... stick their faces inside. I did see them do that. Oh, really? Oh, weird. So it, when they go through these, it it flickers green. Ooh. Oh wait, no. But this is the side you had earlier. This is the side you, um, you didn't make it to. I think. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> well, I. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Push everything Ooh. over. Ooh. The physics of this game is really interesting. It seems like most creatures are kind of driven by their head, and then the body just kind of dangles yeah, behind them. Yeah, she's like, them, oh, I'm going to follow you. Which really works for, the, like, the slug cat kind yes. of creature. Um, but it's interesting that the other monsters kind of behave the same way, at least so far. Right, so far. Maybe, it's a, it, maybe it really is just a slug-eat-slug world. <laughs> You got the Wait, slug gators. Go? Yeah, Ooh, yes. yeah, you can. So they, they do a good job at kind of teaching the player what will take them to new zones. Yes. The the three dots means that it's a new area, and the arrow means that it connects two separate to separate yep. points within the same space. Oh, he's sleeping. So how do you feel about the mm. inability to kill predators? Well, or at least so it seems. So I, it, it seems so far, right? Um, I think it kind of uh, it makes sense because clearly you are um a form of prey here. Um, and so I think it's more about how you survive and not how you thrive. If that makes sense, yeah, you know. Absolutely. Um, um, oh, 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 oh my oh, gosh! Oh, oh, oh. oh man! Woo! <laughs> I've made poor choices. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like this was not a good idea. Um. No, but I, I like that it that it gives you that challenge. You know, like I'm because I'm very much bad at games like these. I'm more of a let's go right in there, and let's hit it, and see what happens. Um, so I wouldn't obviously I wouldn't prosper too much playing this kind of game. But at the same time, I like the fact that it doesn't follow the standard where it's like you can beat your enemies. It's like no, this world is stronger than you are. You're just trying to either a find home or b just I don't know get somewhere safe. Yeah, I agree. I think it's... I mean, obviously, we're only, like, ten minutes into the... Right, this, absolutely. Um, maybe further. But yeah, re regardless, it's, like, already from the very beginning, it sets this tone of, like, you're surviving, and it does it <laughs> by saying you can't really fight your predators right now. That's why they're predators. Yeah, as uh, predators. So let's see if that ends up flipping over. Um, but we want to uh, stop here. We're a little over time. Let me let me get past this area. Okay. Or get eaten. Or get eaten. Wah! Okay. Ooh, okay, watch boy. this. Okay, so throw that spear at him. No, you're not. He's like face to the ground. He knows what you're about to do. Wah! Oh, there you go. Wait, hold on. Did you kill it? No. Nope. Oh, no, you didn't. No, no you I didn't. That was, I a, didn't. That was a It was a good hit, hit, but it didn't kill him. <laughs> I like how you and I had the Ooh. same thought, oh, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Um, um, um. Okay, go up, go up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, but, oh, they're fighting each yeah, other. Yeah, they were doing that earlier, too. Whoa. I like that I've been holding this bat the entire time. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, You're just like, this is my friend, this is my friend. No, pick them both up. Can you climb? Oh, I thought, oh that'd be so cool. Wait. Yes, you can. Holy shit. Oh, man. Okay, that just opened a whole new That's world for this game. That's super cool. Okay, so why don't we, uh, why don't we do a little stop and do here? Wait, maybe, maybe. Shelter? I detect shelter. Up there, up there, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me... <laughs> I'm gonna... I gotta go to bed. <sighs> do, do, do. All right, maybe it's not shelter. Okay, we'll call it here. <laughs> um, I, I don't know oh, if we're Although, doing... before we call it here, look at that. Doesn't that count like the alligator itself? Like, look yeah, at that little does, side yeah. structure. Oh, sorry, I guess that would make a lot of sense. Uh, I'm just pointing at a TV screen that no one can see. I'm just well, like, hey, look I at mean... that. <laughs> We all see what's on screen right now. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, question of the day. Question of the day. Um, wh what do you guys think about the inability to actually kill predators in this game? Mm. And does it make sense? Or, or rather, no. Uh, I think the better question is, how does that um, make for a better game? 
Mm, yeah, I like that. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Please comment on what you thought about the video, the question of the day, all that fun stuff. And share this video so we can get more subscribers and make more fun things yeah. here. Um, and, and make out, sure to... Check out Rain World also. Yes. Um, I mean, obviously, we're playing it on the show, and we'll probably do a full playthrough so long as it's not like a million episodes. And we're not like struggle bussing super hard. I mean, you know, we played through Dark Souls in the very beginning of the show when I was bad at games, so... Well, I'm... And we played through Poncho, and I'm bad at games. Yeah, I, mean, so that's, that's I, I think we could do it. Yeah, we're just bad at games. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, so I'm guessing we're having the voting for this then. Yeah, this is a bonus series, so there's no voting, um, and that's no also why I'm, I'm not sure. Ooh, I'm not sure if we'll be able. Oh, there's no pause. Oh, there is pause. Never mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll, we'll see, see you in the there. next episode. Bye, everyone. Oh, bye.